Joel Went here. The title of the series of essays is Real Anthroposophy. And, um, well, I want to take it seriously. I don't want to take it too seriously because what happens when I take myself too seriously is I get kind of goofy. And uh, anthroposophy, at the very least, ought to be a little bit about joy and happiness and good times and things. Now, what do I mean by real anthroposophy? Well, I mean to distinguish it from the stuff that comes out of Dornock and the councils in America. Of course, I don't know about the other councils, but uh, I think they're fairly typical. Well, what's going on here? Well, the title to this talk number one says, A Challenge to Dornock and to the Councils in America, and that's what I want to do. I want to challenge them. I want to say, look, I'm going to do better at this anthroposophy stuff than you guys. And so suck it up and get ready, and here I come, because we're in the 21st century, and it's a different time, and Rudolf Steiner isn't here, and we need more something. i got a general report from the Anthroposophical Society. I'm going to do a whole talk on that. That's, oh God. I don't want to get started on that. I got started on that when I did a previous version of this video and I wandered off into who knows what. Well, let's talk about me. huh? Why not? Well, we should. Who the hell is this guy standing in front of this video giving all this stuff claiming he's going to do real anthroposophy? Well, what can I say? You know, I'm 69, I'll be 70 in December. This is June, so I'm 69 and a half. That tells you a little bit. Uh, I got a thing on my website that you can read called Biographical Necessity about my life. The only advantage to that thing is that, is that um, in a certain sense, well, people are going to go crazy with it in some senses. Can't help it. It's simply the truth. I tell stories from my life, I tell thoughts that I had during my life, and I had a strange life, and <laughs> I'm not going to start in on it here, but who I am, in reality, is someone who's produced work based on the new mystery of thinking that Rudolf Steiner taught, taught in his first three books. The first book is called A Theory of Knowledge Implicit in Goethe's World Conception. The second book is called Truth and Knowledge. It was a somewhat changed version of his doctoral dissertation. And then the last book is called The Philosophy of Freedom. Now those books are maps to the interior life of the human being. But you don't discover the content of your own mind by memorizing or being able to recapitulate the concepts in the maps. Any more than you'll know anything about Montana, by look, that's where I was born, by looking at a map. You have to go there. And the there is way more complicated than the map. And the where of your mind is way more complicated than what's in those books. Nonetheless, that's a very important journey and that's the basis of anthroposophy. That's what anthroposophy is. Anthroposophy is a path of cognition from the spiritual and the human being to the spiritual and the universe. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what does that mean? Well, path of cognition. You gotta go through a path. You can't just read a book and absorb ideas. You have to go through a path. You have to have experiences. Things have to happen. You have to act. You have to be a participant. So when you can wake up inside your own mind and be a participant and fully understand how it is that you form thoughts, etc., what you do with feelings, etc., how you bring impulses and will to play, etc., then you know something that you don't know just through reading. I'll get into that more. So, who am I? I am a guy that produces works. Got to check the clock here. God, the time goes fast. I invite you to examine my works, not my personality. I give you my personality and the story of my biography and what's going to be on those videos. But the fact is, is I'm going to produce works, and the works are going to be different and better than what comes out of Dornock and the councils in America. 
you're a consumer of anthroposophical material. Be a consumer. Step back. Evaluate. Ah. Does Dornock and the councils in America talk about this? Well, maybe they don't. Do they talk about that? Well, maybe they don't. I'm going to talk about things like this. For example, everybody understands that Steiner gave us a Christology. Well, we've got to add to it. We can't just sort of stand there and read it and be passive. We have to be active participants in the new mystery of thinking. We have to add to the knowledge that human beings have. So if we stand where we are in the 21st century and look back on the 20th century and we do it from a standpoint of talking about the Christ impulse, what are we going to say? Well, this is what we're going to say. And this is fully scientific. We're going to say that Rudolf Steiner was the John the Baptist figure of the second coming of Christ. As we know through reading Steiner, things sort of repeat themselves in a kind of way. Not exactly, but you could say that it's music which has themes, and the themes come back, and they're slightly different. So, the reappearance of Christ in the etheric needs someone to announce it. That's Rudolf Steiner's role in terms of the Christology aspects of spiritual science. He's the John the Baptist. He's the voice crying in the wilderness of scientific materialism. It's an extraordinary event in human history. Extraordinary. But if you read this, for example, there's nothing in this report, this annual report from the corporation of the General Anthroposophical Society about the Second Coming. You don't get the discussions of the second coming from Dornock. You don't get discussions, you know, you get mentions, little tiny things off the side. But the central event of the Christ impulse's activity in the 21st century is based on the fact that in the 20th century, Christ came again in the etheric. And to Steiner's announcement, people are adding research. And that's one of the things that I'm going to do in these videos. I'm going to add additional research. What? Well, with the second coming, there's a second Eucharist. Hello? Why should we be surprised? We ought to be able to figure out that there is. There will also be new Gospels. Gospels of the second coming. There's already been one. Josiah ben Zaren's The Spiritual Event of the 20th Century. Hello? Dornock and the councils in America are not up to it. There will be more.